The vaccine is safe because it was reviewed by the FDA and it went through similar clinical trials, all three phases, as any other vaccine would. So we believe that the vaccine is safe and effective. mRNA or messenger RNA is um, a molecule with inside the vaccine. So as you receive that vaccine and it comes into your body, what it does is it actually instructs your cells to build a specific protein called the spike protein. The spike protein is a unique uh, characteristic of the coronavirus. So as that spike protein is produced within your body, your body identifies that as a foreign agent. And from there it starts to build an immune response. The thing to keep in mind is that spike protein, independently by itself, is harmless to you. Now your body knows exactly how to kill this spike protein. So in the event that you do contract the coronavirus and that comes into your body, it'll say, wait, I see that spike protein. I remember that from before. I know that it, it's dangerous. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna kill it. And that's the trick. If your body can build an immune response before it replicates, then you can avoid having the disease of COVID-19. With the Pfizer vaccine, as well as with the Moderna vaccine that's coming out, it requires a booster shot. And as you're hearing the efficacy percentages of 94 and a half or 95%, that's one week after that second dose. It's very important that you continue to protect yourself during that period of time, and then even after you receive that second dose by following the behavioral pieces that you need to follow. For example, wearing a mask is important, social distancing and washing your hands. Basically on emergency use authorization, almost anybody can get the vaccines. The only time that there's a contraindication is if you had an allergic uh, reaction to something that was within the vaccine. Pregnant women should probably consult with their doctors. Unfortunately right now, the vaccine is very scarce, right? It just came to market. There's only so much that's out there. So what happened is, uh, you know, a priority matrix came out from the government, basically saying the people that are the sickest or the highest at risk are the folks that are gonna receive it the first. We believe that the general population should be able to receive the vaccine by the summertime. So the side effects of this vaccine is very similar to any other vaccine that you would get, like the flu vaccine. You could have local pain within the arm where the injection is. Uh, you also can have fever and chills. But keep in mind, these type of side effects are not always bad. It shows that your body's building an immune response, which will hopefully help protect you and give you immunity in the future. The government is saying that the vaccine itself should not cost anything. It should be at no charge to the American people. The government is uh, very adamant that uh, there should not be any financial barriers because it's so important that every American receives a vaccine and every person across the world actually receives a vaccine. Because the only way to get through this pandemic is if we have about 75 to 85% of the people receive it.